Hello everybody. Uh, in this video, I will show you how to make an augmented topology using Crystal Maker. So in order to do that, you first you go to the RCSR data. So here is the uh, website of RCSR data. So you go to RCSR data and then you click to tree periodic and after you move to tree periodic uh, tab you can type the kind of topology you want to make uh, augmented for example here I will demonstrate how to illustrate a, an augmented topology of diamond uh, network um, or I mean anyway any kind of uh, of topology so let's make a um, uh, NBO for example NBO so here is the uh, topology of uh, NBO you can see is is presented as a node linked together by um, edge so for the augmented you can type NBO dash A and then here is the augmented version of a NBO topology which can be formed by linking the square uh, SBU together by linear uh, linker. So when you have NBO augmented, you go to um, the one they show vertex. So in here, we have one kind of vertex with the position of x, y, and z. So with the information of x, y, and z, in addition to the sped group and unit cell parameter here, we can definitely make a crystal structure of this uh, structure. So we go back to Crystal Maker. We go to File, New, Crystal. And for the for the speed group, we have I am minus three m. So we put I am minus three m, and uh, see I am minus three m. Yeah, uh, I am minus three m. Is it the qubit lattice? So we only provide a. So for a, a equal b equal c, which is four point something. And the position of the vertex x, we copy that and we add. So let's name it um, silicon one x zero point one four six four and y zero z zero point five zero z point five and then okay you will have stuff like this so. Remember to apply the uh, lesson one to change the background to white and solid line of unit cell, make it another color. This one to be three. Don't show multiple unit cell stuff like this and so. Look at the augmented uh, configuration, I mean, uh, structure of um, NBO. So here is the square position. So we need to link this item to this item. So in Crystal Maker, you will see here that one is the square. So we need to link this item this silicon to this silicon this silicon to the next one and the next and here to the next one so the distance between this silicon and this silicon 
is one Armstrong. So in order to do that, you go to edit, bonding, and then you add silicon to silicon. Minimum I would put 0 0.9, maximum 1.1 for example. And then click OK. And it's generate all bonds of silicon to silicon. So next one. I will apply the lesson two to make a augmented um, like a, a, f a few uh, ring. So we have a four member ring, uh, four member ring of um, of the knot, and to make get few, we choose four of them, and then selection make polyhedron. Let's put that um, C end, C end. Show symmetry rated item, all balls in this distance range, and OK. And we make sure that make sure that we change the um yeah the silicon to be like a spear and stick. The selenium, the center wand belong to the solid, the polyhedra uh, setup. So in order to show the polyhedra stuff, we go to model and he, because now we are in ball and stick. So we need to move to polyhedra to show the polyhedra, the square polyhedra. And let's make this one uh, blue and hide the distance, uh, the bond between the center to silicon. So you move to model, go to bond, and we hide the bond of CE and SI. So things looks. Um, I would like to use silicon uh, stick bonds and minimum let's use 0 0.075 to make it smaller and for silicon use 0 0.2 or maybe 0 0.25 yeah the only thing you have to do is you have to realize the the ratio, the relative ratio of this ball and the atom so that you can present um, a suitable um, thickness of the bond instead of showing like very large um, very large uh, uh, bond which make which, ma uh, which makes your uh, structure look um, look very it's likely la that everything look very um, unusual. So you have to 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 realize uh, the ratio of the the item, the speed of item, and the thickness of the bond. So next one, I want to transfer everything. You go to transform set range, make it two, 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 for example. And then we direct to center, a direction. So let's say we want to show here. So you can choose. this region and then hide everything let's see yep and then move to b direction and then again hide everything high unit cell and see how we have so here is the nbo presented in augmented fraction. 
So if you want to show the bond, uh, sorry, the uh, the bore size of the NBO, definitely you can do because now you have uh, you the center here is the selenium, so you can choose this and this, and then you present the center item. For example, I transfer to the model to be ball and stick, and then I choose this and this, and I make polyheron, make it uh, selenium, and then no bond, no, okay, and then I make it 20, oh. maybe 5, or something like this to be yellow and then set up back to polyhedra selenium should be sphere perfect it should be like this I would make it 5.5 yeah in this position you also can change the ambient setup one zero point eight zero point nine one ten similar to bond Polyhera 0 0.8, 0 0.91, and 110. Make it dark, for example. Okay, maybe we have to change the bond darker, make it darker like steel. Okay, perfect. Very nice. You can also change the setup of the center of the board to be like a Transparent like this, but uh, but I lo I don't like it much. Although it can help you to see something behind the bore, but it's very very light. And in fact, from Crystal Maker, I don't know how to make it darker. Maybe Ooh. you can let me know if you can find something to make it darker. But I think rendered should be okay okay I hope you have fun with this uh, with this uh, presentation